this is the caliper, and the zero in the vernier scale is right in the zero in the main scale. Then here the measurement I have is zero millimeters. And if I open the caliper, I can read one millimeter, two millimeters, three millimeters, ten millimeters, fifteen millimeters, sixteen millimeters. But what if the zero in the vernier scale is between the 15 and the 16 millimeters in the main scale? Well, then I must read the vernier scale. From here to here, the vernier scale represents 1 millimeter, and each line represents 0.05 millimeters. So here, the zero line in the vernier scale is after the 15 mm line in the main scale. So the measurement is 15 mm plus something more. So now I must look for three consecutive lines in the vernier scale that coincide with three lines in the main scale. Then, if I pay attention, going from the left to the right, I can see that the lines in the vernier scale are closer and closer to coincide with the lines in the main scale. These three lines seem to coincide quite well with three lines in the main scale, and the next ones are to the left of the lines in the main scale. Then, I am interested in the one in the middle. So the measurement is 15.40 mm. I have eight lines. So 8 times 0.05 is equal to 0.40. Let's do it again. For example, let's read here. I have 46 millimeters plus something more. And we can see the zero is quite near the 47 mm line. Then the three lines I am looking for will probably be to the right in the vernier scale. These are the ones that coincide better with three lines in the main scale. The line in the middle is the seven. So the measurement is 46.70 mm. Let's try it once again. Here I have 64 mm plus something more. And I have to look for the three lines. OK. I will move the vernier scale, so this time I have something slightly different. These three lines coincide with three lines in the main scale. I am interested in the one in the middle. In this case it is 0.35. So the measurement is 64.35 mm. I have 7 lines, so 7 times 0.05 is equal to 0.35 mm. Thanks for watching. If you like this technique, don't forget to click like and share. You can find all my videos in my channel. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.